she conceded the Biden administration's achievements on infrastructure, lowering drug costs, and job creation are not yet fully felt or understood. There's a lot more communication I think has to be done between now and next year's election without question. And is that the burden of the president himself? It's on all of us. It's on all of us. We all would benefit if we spent a little more time telling the, the, some of the great victories that we've seen over the last few years. But he's still tied with Biden in some polls. So what, what do you think needs to happen for Biden to break away? Well, I, I do think the economy is going to be a huge asset. Uh, Biden has been maybe too um, reticent, too modest to take credit. But, I mean, where we've come since the depths of the pandemic is an astounding recovery story. Astounding. Some of that is going to take time, but we're beginning to see the results. And I think uh, as those results become more evident to the American people and as we talk about how consequential this president has been, uh, his numbers will improve. So I think he's underestimated, and I, I believe when uh, people go into the boat booth, they're going to know he's a decent human being, he's a patriot, he's trying his best, and he'll be reelected. The president's job approval numbers in Wisconsin in a recent poll show that he still has low numbers. Does that suggest to you that Bidenomics isn't working or benefiting everyone? Well, I'll tell you, I'm traveling the country. And I hear from everywhere I go, whether I'm in a rural town or an urban town, and I'm traveling all, all corners of our country, people are thankful. Let me ask you this. Why do you think a thrice indicted former president is neck and neck with the current president? Well, it's a great question. I wish that Lincoln were around to pose it to him because it's his political party that they've dragged into the mud here. I mean, that was a pro-freedom, anti-slavery, anti-know-nothing, pro-immigration party. And now it's become a cult of authoritarian personality. And I think voters are really starting to feel um, the economic impacts that this administration has set forward. Um, you know, the president has recently talked about it in the context of Bidenomics. Bidenomics is working. Or you're a liar.